with it. By 14, we were skiing internationally. You know, in, in ski jumping, it, it's just like flying. Once you, when, you're, when you're having really good jumps, it's the best feeling in the world. And it was a dream for anybody to make it to the Olympics. And for me, it happened quite young. How old were you when you first saw Olympics? So go to Thunderbird, uh, Canadian documentary about a uh, ski Olympic ski jumper that I didn't even know about, uh, and I'm a big sports fan. And uh, about this this gentleman uh, being a like, it's three minutes. They just tell a quick story about this Olympic uh, Native American, uh, Native Canadian uh, Olympic skier, and just sort of sort of his like how he got into it and. You know, the metaphor of flying. I'm hoping it becomes part of that lexicon of heritage moments. Um, that it would come up when the uh, when the Winter Olympics come up and CBC shows it as you know background information. It's it's a perfect fit for and, that. And in sports or gym class or in history class, you know, um, when when uh, we started introducing a lot more of the Indigenous uh, history. Um, I really enjoyed his story. I enjoyed the fact that there was another skier or jumper who was, I guess, European or something, and he had a certain type of jump, and then these kids who are all local, and this is their mountain, he said, ha ha, let's like play with that sucker. And they were having fun, and I really enjoyed the, the way that he got into the sport for the pure pleasure of it. This was his land, this is his world. Uh, and he, he joined in an international conversation. It was yeah, cool. It was very cool because that, that, that gentleman, like the money it takes to make do that sport and all, all the things that, the process, it's like it was so interesting how he just like kind of fell upon it and then he got obsessed with it and he became an expert at it and he became, a, you know, how many people are Olympic athlete? Like very, very, very few. Very nice mix of live action and still photography. Uh, <clears throat> he's an interesting character. The only thing I question is, why did they feel the need to put the sound of a projector in into the film itself? I, I, I question that as an artistic choice. That's the only, only criticism I would make. I'm not sure if I was paying attention or not, but it had an element of surprise that you didn't know that this Olympian is actually an indigenous person. Yeah. And that was quite interesting that came in um, halfway of the film. Or, and then uh, that part, answering your, uh, why did they put the slides, uh, the projector sound? Yeah. But that puts you, puts you in the mood of watching something that's really old. <laughs> and it's, you're sitting at home and like the good old times and you, listen, you hear that sound in the background. It gives, it gives a mood and a feeling, that kind of, that, that thing. I just think of school. And that's on that old yeah. where they actually had a projector, <laughs> like, oh my god. And like, because the school system was so bad, it was like a movie from like 1950 that I used to watch. Anyway, sorry. Anyways, I, that's a segue. Uh, we'll go to the last film.